Hello everybody, myself is Surji Thakri. I am the first Indian artist who has achieved a postgraduate degree in easel painting from the Academy of Fine Arts, the Pin Institute of Painting, Sculpture and Architecture in St. Petersburg, Russia. I am also the founder president of Rerich's Art Club, affiliated to Russian Center of Science and Culture, New Delhi. I have an experience of 40 years as a professional artist. Let us start our own painting. First of all, we will draw the composition on the canvas. For this, we will use small flat brush and put some main point of the foam. You have to use free hand sketch and display your forms to compose the composition. When you compose the shapes, there should be rhythm, especially in figure drawing. The rhythm of a figure can be thought of as the movement through its forms. The middle line describes the general movement of the pose and is a good place to start when looking for the rhythm in a figure. It goes through the whole figure and connects all the forms. A good composer of the human figure will connect these forms together with lines that express harmony and movement. The repetition of the long tapering shape harmoniously arranged as in this drawing by Bukovic serves to emphasize the languid beauty in the pose. Now take a sketch pen and draw final contour of the composition. Contour drawing is an artistic technique used in the field of art in which the artist sketches the contour of a subject by drawing lines that result in a drawing that is essentially an outline. The French word contour meaning outline. Contour drawing is arguably the purest form of drawing, nothing but pure lines. Most of us begin contour drawing instinctively simply by picking a point on the edge of the figure and copying it onto a paper and following eye. This can yield a beautiful drawing. This line is called the arabesque by academy artists. 
but without proper training it can be difficult to achieve good result a common problem with pure contour drawing is that as the tempo of drawing changes and as we focus in on one small area at a time the proportion of the figure become lost gradually errors compound and the figure becomes distorted we need to learn to preserve the proportions of the figure the best way to do this is to learn to draw the structure of the figure first you can also use the small round brush and make the final drawing you should keep in mind the rhythm in the composition we are trying here free form shapes are a basic element of design they are made of close contour and three dimensional objects placed in a design shapes are used to convey meaning and organize information shapes can be two dimension or three dimension use different types of shapes such as geometric naturalist free form and abstract to create interest in composition a shape is defined as an area that stands out from the space next to or around it due to defined or implied boundary or because of differences of value color or texture shape is defined as any element that's used to determine or give form we see shapes every day in logo flags books clothes a shape can exist in isolation or used in conjunction with type of lines After finalize your drawing we will fill the colors We will use only one tone that is brown and dark brown Here I will use a flat wash technique to fill the colors A flat wash produces a smooth even layer of color
When laying a flat wash in the acrylic, it helps to dilute the paint with some water or better with some matte medium. This makes the paint flow smoother and gives even coverage. To create a nice smooth wash, use soft bristle brushes and work each stroke in one direction only rather than scrubbing back and forth for an ever coat use a white flat brush slightly overlapping each successive stroke to start take a flat brush and first fill the full form of one color You can put some water to thin the color and apply where you want lighter shade. We can also use some texture here with the help of movement of the brush. we can keep the movement of the brush different directions which will give very calm texture after this initial application of color in figure we move towards the details of the figure the base has roughly painted dark brown which we applied in texture earlier
Now depth has to be given in the foam. Now take a black and apply here and do the details on the face like you can put shadow under the eyes and make the shape of the eyebrow. The human figure is very complicated and dynamic thing. It is not so easy to draw. When you start drawing the human figure, it is important to find the line of the pose. The easiest way to find is it is to follow the curve of the body from the pit of the neck down to the pubic area. In more dynamic poses, this line will also include the head and leg on which the figure is weight rest on. For giving depth, I am applying thin dark brown color slightly away from the contour and smash. Use clean edges only in specific place. Think of a chin that is in front of the neck. There is hard cleanage around the chin where, where it curves around and disappears from our line of sight. This makes the chin appear to be in front of the neck even though we are drawing on a flat sheet or paper.
you always use a gradient as you are shading your drawing Most things that we draw are going to have some curve to them. They are not flat objects. So as an object curves, it could be a cheek, a nose, an eyeball, it moves to an angle where the light can't shine on as much. and the further it turns away the darker it gets causing a gradient or gradual change from lighter area to darker area Now do all the shapes in the same way. Put the dark shadow. Drawing any subject starts from shading the darkest shadow first. Cast shadows are another way you can show that something is in front of something else. especially when there is no overlap to do that
in fact this is heavily used in graphic design to pop thing forward Shading is a technique used in art to represent light and shade by varying the color and intensity of the medium being used. This helps create the illusion of depth and shade in an otherwise flat work. Leave the very brightest part of your drawing white. We have now completed the shapes. We will remain the background as it is. Now some final touches are to be given. Look carefully and meditate where what is lacking. and give final touches with bright or dark color as required use of different shapes and forms gives the dimension in the composition